I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Welcome back to another update. Let's go. A lot of things are coming out, mate. It's transfer season getting closer. Oh boy, oh boy. Tucson assigned for Chelsea Football Club. It's complete, it's done. There's no going back. Looking forward to Tucson next year season but the guy he says something very very important before i show you what he said uh, about the chelsea football club and the project he said something about dj dropper is he wants to um uh he wants to have that type of uh, energy that type of mindset he wants to have that you know not just like dj dropper but he wants to have uh have a big stuff in the Chelsea Football Club and he wants to um, everybody to know okay they, there is Tucson you know he wants to be recognizable that's the word so he wants that and uh, he, he has learned so much from um, Zidane, Ronaldo he was talking about I think those two old Ronaldo and the new Ronaldo he talked about these big players he wants to be like them and after that they were asking him questions and he said this Tucson, I'm here at Chelsea to win. I want to win. Before confirming the move, I gave Sterling and Copama a call and they had nothing but positive things to say about the club. Wow. I'm surprised Sterling said that, I have to be honest. You know, <laughs> the project and everything at Chelsea Football Club, it just, you know, it's been up and down. My light just went off. Yeah, now turn it on. Don't go off. Yeah, I'm telling the light, don't go off. <laughs> so, yeah, Sterling, it's just, it's it, the, the season, last season, it just didn't go well, right? There's no uh, trophies, no winning, no nothing. It's just crazy when you think about uh, Chelsea project. But, but, he gave a call to Sterling, call Palmer, and they let him know everything is good up here, mate. You can come and we'll take care of you. He didn't finish there. He continued. Tucson, Chelsea is a hard club and this is a full cycle moment for me. I, I was born there, miles away from Stamford Bridge, and made my professional debut there. I'm excited and looking forward to helping push the club in the direction we want to go. Tucson, fantastic things, mate. I'm excited I'm hearing this for uh, to a player um, like I've never seen a Chelsea player a Chelsea signing I'll say saying this for the first time at the club and they are speaking like this the only time I had a Chelsea player speaking like this that uh, DJ Droba uh, Michael Asian those guys old lads right but this time this modern era nobody Absolutely nobody said. They just, you know, say, oh, yeah, I'm excited. Chelsea, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's it. I'm not going to go further. But Tucson continue. Tucson, I've developed lap and bond. I've become a man, established myself as a top Premier League centre half. That is why I've joined Chelsea. Being a leader comes to me naturally. It is something that is re required of a centre half. It is an important responsibility. I want to come here and push the boys on as much as we can. Tucson, if you can't beat them, join them. Chelsea have become, or Chelsea have always had the best in class reputation, so I know what this club is. It's all about Mr. Tucson. Welcome to Chelsea Football Club. A great man, a great leader. Join them if you can't beat them. Thank you very much for those words. I'm looking forward to the next season. I'm excited about this guy. You know, I think, I won't say it is, but I think it's a replacement for Thiago Silva. You know, this is a good replacement for him. So let's see the next season what uh, brings for Mr. Tucson. Now, we move on from Mr. Tucson and his word, good charming words, right? If you didn't see the video, it's up there on YouTube. Go search it. Uh-huh. Very good video. He said a lot of things. Some things I didn't even say them up here. Yeah. We move on. 
Now we go to uh, Julian Avaris. Julian Avaris, there is uh, again update. Yesterday I talked about him, Chelsea. They were a secret club who were pushing to sign him, and exciting things, right? Exciting things. Now another update. Chelsea will make a proposal for Julian Avaris in the next few days. I will say, do this quickly before anybody get in the, in, in the way. Do it quickly. Anyway, Chelsea have made it knowing they make a proposal for Julian Navarez in the next few days. Just uh, That's just confirming from PYS. Things you'll have to see. So, let's see the proposal Chelsea is going to put on the table. This guy can go for 75 or even 80. Yeah. Manchester City, they don't want to sell him, but they can't hold the player if he wants to leave. Just like Copama wanted to leave, wanted to start at Chelsea. And this could be a good signing. And I think Copama is kindly, you know, come to Chelsea. You're going to start, you know. And he will. If he comes to Chelsea, he'll be number one up there. Jackson, see you, brother. <laughs> see you, brother. If this guy comes to Chelsea, Jackson, I think it's going to be number two. And I think Jackson doesn't want to be number two striker. So what's the, uh, the, the other side? Is to go right and i think everybody will be happy jackson if he goes yeah so avares fantastic sign in if chelsea get that guy let's wait and see what's gonna happen manchester united made a late approach to try and hijack chelsea tucson deal but tucson kept his word man united tried to hijack that deal but it did not happen <laughs> goodbye united Thank you very much for trying, but Tucson is not going to do that. Now, this is Chelsea and the P PSR and uh, Profit and what is this? Um, FFP rules and what is next? The other things, Chelsea, they are good in the business community or business uh Kardec, as a name you're gonna give them. You can give them a, any name, their business this, their business that, their business up, their business football club, their business basketball, their business baseball, anything. You know, like I said before, Chelsea owners, they are so good in a business area. They know exactly what they're doing. You know, you can't beat them. You know, in the Premier League, Chelsea football club owner, they are so good in a business. They, 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 they think so much to beat the Premier League and the Premier League cannot think <laughs> what this uh, Igbarito, Boris Ferracino and the, and the other guys, what they think. You know, they find the loophole from nowhere and they are safe. Check out this. Chelsea avoided breaching the PRS limit by selling the two hotels and car parks at Stamford Bridge to a sister company for 76.5 million. Now, 98 million, this was enough to 10. A 166 4 million loss in 2022-2023 into an 89.9 million defense for the club. Wayne spread anger about that transition, forced the Premier League to look at its real book again, with the result being the proposal to copy the Premier League prohibition on using such window for PSR conclusion. The amendment failed, however, because several clubs thought the winding of the ban was too wide. Don't mess with Tom Bory when they are on the business. Just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Sky Sports Connection. Chelsea will not need to sell player this summer to comply with the Premier League PSR rule. Sky Sports understood Chelsea will need to make sales to keep in line with PSR for the 2024-2025 season and the cut of that is next summer but they are under no pressure to sell this summer. We have sold everything to ourselves, to a sister club. So we are not in pleasure. <laughs> Top Bory and this masterclass. You can't mess with them, man. They are so intelligent at the business level. But at the football level, they are learning. They don't know nothing about that. Clearly, we can see. Everybody can see, right? So let's see. They will learn. You know, everybody starts from scratch. You can't rush things. You just can't. They will learn. 
you know just from uh, like uh, you, you you like when a baby is born it doesn't just start walking right away it got to uh, drink milk you know the eyes are still closed and he's opening them a little bit by little and after that he's drinking milk from milk he starts speaking dada or mama with two teeth right here and then after that he started going with his hands like this a baby and then after that he said you know going up step one step and then fall down this is what it is you got to start from the scratch so they are learning they are still babies you know they're still speaking dada mama so let's see next season maybe they won't speak dada mama maybe they'll start walking <laughs> you know what i mean right exactly so yeah two signs for chelsea let me know down in the comment and they spoke very very well and things you'll have to see hopefully we see that on the pitch you know we want that speaking on the pitch to go together and we got stuff in this chelsea team you know let's do it next season smells very good i gotta say smells very good maraska looks like he's gonna you know really work you know uh, work on this uh project and work on these players and he said maraska when he came in they asked him uh this do you think this team they're very good to finish in top four and he said i came to chelsea to compete with manchester city and arsenal the premier league title i did not come here to finish in top four that is what i want to hear from your manager don't change the words you know don't so i will see you soon guys let me know down in the comment what do you think about all this discussion i will see you soon very soon i think there will be news later on later on the video it's not gonna come right away yeah but see you god bless